Hi, my name is Helena Sheehan and I am vodcasting for Biolog.ie and I'm going to do a vodcast now on the structure of the heart. So the heart can be kind of complicated to draw and there's a lot of bits in it. Um, I'm going to try and do a simplified version of the heart. And before I start drawing the heart, I want to explain a couple of terms. The arteries and the veins, first of all. So an artery and a vein. These are blood vessels. And an artery begins with A and an artery always carries blood away from the heart. A vein, on the other hand, away from the heart. The vein carries blood in the opposite direction, so the vein carries blood to the heart. So artery and vein. And the next word I want to explain is the word pulmonary, because we have a pulmonary artery and we have a pulmonary vein. And pulmonary is a word that means it's got something to do with the lungs. So pulmonary. In other chapters we have a word like renal, which is to do with the kidneys. We have hepatic, which is to do with the liver. Pulmonary is to do with the lungs. So I'm going to draw the heart. So at the top of the heart we have two arteries that are coming out the top of the heart. So we draw the two arteries like that and then we draw a sort of a heart shape. I'm going to leave some gaps there for the veins. So there are the veins coming out the side of the heart. So arteries at the top, veins at the side. We're going to continue this line now down the centre. That is the septum, it's the wall that divides the heart in two. And then we're going to continue the artery down a bit here and we're going to create some chambers from these lines here. We're going to continue the vein in here a bit. So now we've created our four chambers and, and that's a simple drawing of the heart. So, the blood vessels that enter and leave the heart. We'll start with this one here on the top right and it is called the aorta. The aorta. Now that is an artery. Therefore, it is carrying blood away from the heart. So the blood is coming out there through the aorta. And it doesn't have the word pulmonary in front of it. So it's got nothing to do with the lungs. It's not going to the lungs. It is going all over the body. So the aorta serves all of the body. It doesn't serve the lungs. And then the blood that comes back in from all around the body comes in the other side. So again, this is not going to have pulmonary because it's got nothing to do with the lungs. So this is going to be a vein and it is the vena cava. So this means that the other two blood vessels that are left, these are the ones that serve the lungs. So here's another artery, so blood is going to be coming out of this artery, and this is the pulmonary artery. And pulmonary, as I mentioned, means it's got something to do with the lungs. Artery carries blood away from the heart, A for artery, A for away. So the pulmonary artery is taking blood away from the heart to the lungs. And this blood is going to come back in the other side. So this is coming from the lungs. So the word pulmonary is used here again. Pulmonary vein, because it's going to the heart. So they are the four main blood vessels in the heart. So we'll have a look now at the chambers. So we've divided in the heart here into four chambers. And the upper chambers are called the atria. So this is an atrium. And this is an atrium. And this is a ventricle. The lower chambers are the ventricles. And this is a ventricle. Now when we look at this drawing, this is the right side of our drawing, but this is the left side of the heart. So you switch it around. So this is the left atrium. This is the left ventricle. Therefore, this is the right ventricle. And this is the right atrium. Okay. Now I mentioned that this was the septum. So it divides the heart. It's, it's muscular wall that divides the heart. So this is the septum. And here as well, we're going to draw this line here a bit thicker. So the heart, the wall of the heart is made of muscle. And I'm going to draw a nice thick line down here. Because the wall of the left ventricle is much thicker than the wall of the right ventricle. And there's a reason for that. So a thicker wall here. It's muscle. 
And as we mentioned, the blood that is leaving here, so the blood that is coming out from the ventricle and up and out through the aorta, it's not going to the lungs, it's going all over the body. So therefore, the wall of the left ventricle is much thicker than the wall of the right ventricle because it needs, needs to give the blood a much stronger push because it needs to push it much further than this artery. Over here, the blood is simply being pushed to the lungs and the lungs are very close to the heart, so it doesn't need such a thick wall. Okay, the next thing is the valves. So, we've got valves here which prevent the backflow of blood within the heart. So if there's blood being pushed from the atrium into the ventricle, then it will push these valves open and the blood will flow into the ventricle. But if the blood for some reason tries to go back, then it will push these valves closed and therefore the valves prevent the backflow of blood. This valve here is called the bicuspid valve. And over here we have the tricuspid valve. And we have another set of valves here where the blood leaves the heart through the arteries and these are called the semilunar valves. So they prevent the backflow of blood as well, they prevent the, flow, the, the blood from flowing back into the heart. Now after this we have got the nodes. So there's a node here and there's a node here. Now this one is called the pacemaker. or SA node, sino-atrial node, sino-atrial, whereas this one here is called the AV node, atrioventricular node. And as you can see, the atrioventricular node lies right near the tricuspid valve, sort of in between the atrium and the ventricle. So you can remember where the AV node goes, because it's the atrio ventricular in between the atrium and the ventricle, whereas the SA node is the sinoatrial that is just in the atrium and they're both on the right side of the heart and what these nodes do is they send out nerve impulses across the heart and they cause the muscle of the heart to contract. Contract means gets shorter. So if the muscle gets shorter then what happens is the heart contracts or the heart squeezes. So for example if the muscle surrounding the left atrium here gets shorter, if it contracts, then there's a squeeze going on. So this whole chamber squeezes and pushes the blood into the ventricle. And then if the muscle of the ventricle contracts, then it pushes the blood out through the aorta here on the left side. So that is the structure of the heart. Um, you also need to learn about the heart action and exactly what happens as blood enters and leaves the heart. But there's a simplified drawing of it and I hope it helps. So just practice drawing it and practice the different parts. And that is the structure of the heart.